Hi Schools Linking, we've heard so much about you. I hope you've enjoyed working on this project so far and exploring some of the interesting questions like who am I and who are we? It's been really exciting being able to work with children from another school and being able to get to know them. I'm really excited to work with you today on this creative project. Okay, so this activity is called Message in a Bottle um, and I'm going to show you a piece that I prepared earlier. So, as you can see here, we've got a bottle and this bottle is floating in some water and inside the bottle is a little sailboat and we've got a little sailor here and there's a special message here written in the sails. So we've got some instructions here at the top and it says write a kind message in the sales for your linking class. So in the sales it says you are superstars and then we've got a little dolphin here saying sign your name on the card so I've put from Jody. and then there's a little fish at the bottom saying you can draw some more fish. So there's some little tiddlers here down at the bottom. So I've drawn this from scratch and I'm going to show you how to do this from scratch today. Um, if you don't feel confident to do this from scratch, that's fine. Um, I've created a template which is here. So if you don't feel confident to draw the image, then you can always just use the template and you can work on top of it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I produce the image and you can make along with me. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what materials you'll need for this activity. First you'll need some paper. So I've got A3 paper here but you can also use A4 paper. Um, if you're going to use paint then thicker paper works slightly better. Um, next I've got watercolour paints. Um, if you've not got watercolour paint, don't worry. Um, you can also use felt tip pens or you could use colour pencils. Um, next I've got a black fine liner pen. So you could use a biro um, or a black felt tip instead. Um, then I've got a pencil, pencil sharpener and a rubber. Then I've got a jar of water for my paints, a paintbrush and some felt tip pens. Okay, so there's all your materials. You might want to pause the video for a minute now to go and get all your bits and bobs together. And then when you get back, we'll get creative. Okay, so now I'm going to talk you through how I created my ship in a bottle. So I've got my paper here and I'm going to take my pencil, um, give it a teeny bit of a sharpen because you want your pencil to be nice and sharp. And then I'm going to start by drawing the outline of my bottle. So the first thing that I'm going to do is draw a rectangle um, in the centre of the page. So, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just sort of roughly sketching out the shape of a rectangle. If you're struggling with this, then you can always draw around something. So you could find something like a book or something like that and you could just use that as a template to draw around so so now I've got my rectangle I'm just going to take the edges and round them off so that's your main shape and then to make it look a bit more like a bottle I'm just going to draw a neck on it there we go and then block that off at the end and create like a little lip on the bottle. 
and then we're going to have a cork stuck out the end. There we go. So that's your basic shape of your bottle. Um, next, I'm going to do my waves. So I'm just going to do a really simple wave pattern and I'm going to do two layers. So to do a wave, you just create a U shape like that and then you do another U shape right next to it and you join them together. So it's just a long line of U's. There we go. And now I'm going to do a second layer. So again, I'm going to do a U shape and then I'm going to keep going. So now we've got our bottle and we've also got our waves. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my ship um, and I'm going to start off by doing the basic body of my ship which is a bit like drawing a triangle but we're not going to draw the point of the triangle. So we're going to draw the straight side and then we're just going to pretend that we're drawing a triangle but when we get to the waves we're just going to stop like so. So that's the main body of our boat and then we need to have a think about the sails so we're going to have two sails and they're going to make a number 11 so the first one is going to go here and the second one is going to go here so we need to leave enough of a gap so that we can fit our big sail in the centre. And now we're going to add our smaller sails. So we're going to add two triangular sails first. So one goes here, it's a little triangle. And one goes here. There we go. If you want to make your sails slightly different then you can do. Um, so the next sail is a rectangle and it's going to go here just underneath the first sail and then we just want our final sail in the middle so I'm just going to add that by joining up these two lines like that and if we want to kind of make it look more sail like we can just add some curves in here. There we go, so that is your sailboat. So the next thing that I'm gonna add is my sailor. It can be a male sailor or it can be a female sailor, it's up to you. You might want to make this sailor look a bit like you look. So I'm gonna start off by drawing a circle for the sailor's head. And then the sailor is going to have a little hat on, a little nautical hat. And I'm going to draw a little anchor on my sailor's hat. And then you can draw a face on your sailor. So I'm going to draw a happy face, but you can draw whatever face you like on your sailor. You can make it look like you, you can make it look like someone else you know. You could make it look like your teacher if you wanted. So I'm going to do a happy sailor. And then I'm going to draw the sailor's body. So I'm going to draw one arm. And then the other arm is going to be waving. There we go. So you've got your boat now and you've got your sailor um, and the next thing is just to start adding the little small details to your drawing so um, if you want to you can make these details up yourself so you don't have to copy my drawing you can do your own thing if you like so 
I'm going to make my picture during the daytime so I'm going to add a sunshine and some clouds but if you want your picture to be at night time you might want to add a moon and stars it's up to you or it might be raining in your picture there might be a big storm at sea so just do whatever you want to do but I'm going to add a sunshine and my sunshine is going to be happy so it's going to have a smiley face And then I think I'm going to do some fluffy clouds. I'm going to do one there and then one down at the bottom. Like that. And then I'm going to add some fish. So um, I think I'm going to add one big fish down at the bottom here. There we go, and some little fish. And you might want to add other things too. You might want to add an octopus or a jellyfish. I think I'm gonna do a jellyfish here. He's gonna be happy too. There we go. He's got lots of tentacles coming out the bottom. Um, and then I think I'm going to add a dolphin. So he's going to come up here. There we go. his little spout so the last thing that I need to add is my note so that we can say who our message in a bottle is from so I'm just going to draw another rectangle there and then I'm going to put from dot 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 I'm going to sign my name so you can sign your name in this label so that people know that the message in a bottle is from you. Um, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about what I want my message to be. So I'm going to think of a kind message to send to um, the linking class um, that will make them feel happy. So, and you might want to have a think now about what your message is going to be. So, I think I'm going to write, have a super day. And I'm going to put an exclamation mark. Okay, so that's my drawing. Um, you might want to spend a little bit more time over your drawing. Um, if you're not confident drawing, you can always use the template. So don't worry if you feel like you're getting in a pickle with your drawing. Um, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my watercolor paints and I'm going to paint on top of this drawing. So I'm gonna open up my watercolor box and then I'm going to start painting. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to add some water to the yellow. Um, and I'm just going to 
use a circular motion to fill my brush up with paint and when I've got enough paint I'm going to go in and paint my sunshine. There we go and then I'm going to rinse my brush off. There. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I think I'm going to colour in my waves. So I'm going to use a blue colour and then a greenish colour. So I'll start with the blue and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to wet my blue and I'm going to give it a little tickle with my brush until I've got enough paint on my brush and then I'm going to just start painting my wave and it doesn't have to be perfect so don't worry if you're kind of if you've gone over some of your lines because the beauty of watercolour paint is that it's a little bit messy and a bit imperfect There we go. That's my first wave and then my second wave I think I'm going to make that green. And don't worry if you see like that's happened, some of my colours have run together, it doesn't really matter. It'll just make your drawing a bit more interesting. So we're going to not worry about the happy little accidents that happen. There we go. So I've got my waves painted there. I think next I'm going to start painting my boat. So I'm going to paint my boat green, but I'm just going to go around the edge with the green paint. There we go and then I'm going to do the body of my boat next so I'm going to make that brown and again don't worry if your colours are running together because that's what happens sometimes when you're using watercolour and it just makes your picture a little bit more interesting. There we go. So then I think I'm going to use the same colour to just paint my cork. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to paint my sky. So I'm going to use a light blue on my sky. So I'm just going to Give the light blue a little tickle with my brush until I've got enough paint on there and I'm just going to go across the sky with the blue. And you can take a little bit more time if you like, I'm just kind of rushing a little bit. For the video but if you want to take your time and sort of get it a bit more precise than you can do and then you want you can start to go over the other little details of your picture so I'm going to start painting my fish I'm going to do my fish orange and then I 
think I'm going to paint my sails and I'm going to do them red. But with your picture, you can choose your own colours. You can use whatever colours you like. So I think this sail, I'm going to make it stripy. And then this sail is going to have spots. Like so. And I think this one is just going to be a solid red colour. There we go. So, what's next? I think we'll do the dolphin next. So, my dolphin's going to be a blue colour, but a slightly different shade of blue. He looks pretty happy, this dolphin, doesn't he? Looks like he's loving life. Just sort of leaping out of the water. And then I'm just going to use this brush to draw some stripes on my sailor's top. And do his hat as well. There we go. There, so what have we got left? We've just got the jellyfish. So what colour do you paint a jellyfish? I'm going to paint my jellyfish purple, even though they're not really purple in real life. But sometimes, you, when you're making art, you have creative licence. So you don't always have to paint things the exact colour that they are in the real world. go so this isn't quite dry um, but when it is dry you can take your pen and you can start just going over some of your lines or you might want to take your felt tip pen and you might want to just add some details to your picture so I'm just going to work over the top of this bit because I think this bit is nice and dry now um, and I'm going to take my black liner pen and I'm just going to go over the top of my writing to make it look nice and neat and make it stand out. There we go and I can go round my outline as well. And then you can add little details. So I'm going to add some little holes in my cork, just some little dots. There we go. Um, and I can go round that now as well because that's dry. And then I'm going to take a red felt pen and just draw some little rosy red cheeks on my sailor there. Let me go over this writing, have a super day. There we go. So, I'm, let's see if this is dry. So I'm just going to go around my bottle. Around my ship. And you see how that 
black line is kind of making everything stand out now so you can kind of take your time and put lots of details in over the top if you want to. Um, I'm going to leave my picture there now um, but I hope you've enjoyed uh, making your ship in a bottle um, and I hope you enjoy um, thinking of your special messages as well for your linking class to go, go in your, the sails of your ship. It's been lovely to work creatively with you today. I'm sorry I wasn't able to come and be there in the classroom with you. I'd love to see your amazing artwork though. If your teacher wants to, they can take photos of your work and send it in to Cartwheel Arts for me to see. Take care everybody, until next time, bye bye.